Hey everybody, I'm Chris Provost, and I am at Universal Studios Orlando because I, at nighttime, because nighttime is the right time, we're about to do something that my son Miles has always wanted to do, and we've never done. It's right there. It is a miniature golf course that lights up at nighttime. He's always wanted to do it, and we've, never, we've always been too busy. But I promised him this trip that we can do it. So let's show you this amazing, do you guys call it putt putt? Mini putt or mini golf? What do you guys call it? Put it down in the comments down below. I call it mini golf or putt putt. So, all right, let's go do it. Let's do a little putt putt. And there it is, guys. Check it out. I pro he's always wanted to do this. We're going to do it. Do a little mini golf, a little mini putt, a little putt putt. There it is, called the Hollywood Drive in golf. Let's go do a little putt-putt. Hollywood Drive in golf. So there are two different courses you can do. You can either do the Haunting of Ghostly Greens or Invaders of Planet Putt. Hmm. So you can choose, or you can do both. I kind of, I'm leaning towards Invaders of, which one's better, Miranda? The sci-fi chorus? This is what she says might be more fun. That's the one you okay. kind of saw when we walked in. All right, so they also have, if you want, you don't have to. You could buy like a souvenir golf ball. They're pretty sweet, I mean, I'm tempted. But they're about $7 for that, if you want it. I didn't think I did, but now I'm looking at it, now I do. <laughs> Maybe I, I, might be, I might be on the tallest, guys. All right, what do you think? All right. Okay, you get to choose a color. Miles, what color are you going to choose? There's red, purple, dark green, blue, black, pink, light blue, light green, yellow, orange. Oh, I like that one too. Get it. Should I do the dark green, Miles? What should I do? You choose for me. No, it's like blue, I guess. Surprising, I thought you would have chose the orange. I, I thought about it, but then it's like, Pearl's Park best colors. <laughs> Invaders from Planet Putt. You can't read the sign, but that's what it says. Whoa. So as you play a game, they also have trivia, depending on which hole you're on, ask a question so you can find trivia. And then Miles and I, it's Miles and I are playing. Miles just went on the first hole, and look how close that came to going in. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Miles. Miles got it in two. How dare you laugh? Alright. Hey, Three to two. For reporting UFO sightings. Trivia, it's the Roswell Register. Alright. Oh, wait, look at the mirror space. Oh, it's down there. Alright, so we found out that this is a three level course. This whole course, so I think this is the pattern we're trying to match. If you look down at the feet, I think if you match this pattern, you can get a hole in one. So we gotta go find out what pattern this is. So this one here. So, there's a trick. Come take a look at this. I think it's that pattern there. That's what the lowest level looks like. So I think if we go into that hole, it's gonna go in. I think it's this one. Well, I don't know though. <laughs> I was completely wrong. Miles went down there and almost got a hole in one. I was going the wrong hole. No, just try it. Just try it anyways? Yeah. All right, all right. Look down here, look down here. Let's go, little guy. 
the sea. Miles is already down a lower level. Look at that shot. Okay, I'm going again. So this is my third hit. Don't touch it. Oh. Okay. Get it in, Miles. Did you gotta go underneath the cow? Did you hear about that cow that uh, jumped over a barbed wire fence? Utter disaster. <laughs> Because all the aliens are peeking out. And even on the chicken poop. Not the livestock, George. The cow's being abducted. I just told Miles that that's an outdoor toilet. He's like, what, really? I'm like, yep, outhouse. Get this one to be the first hole I can beat on. This hole is filled with tentacles, which reminds me, how many tickles does it make to make an octopus laugh? Ten tickles. Telescope. You gotta look at this telescope and see what you see. Eyeball, peering right back at you. Uh, my, my son got four and I got two. Oh my gosh! He just got a hole in one! <laughs> it went off the stars and popped right in the hole. Can't even believe it. No pressure. Here we, I don't know how he did that. Here we go. I'll try what Miles did. No, bring it back. Uh, now we are going into some unauthorized personnel areas, guys. <laughs> that man is like, this is very stressful because there's a giant robot aliens and I think it's shooting a laser beam and there's destruction on the wall. And there's lots of aliens with guns in there. Wow! Well, aliens are guns, let's go see. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Alright, they're shooting at us. We're gonna try to dodge them. You gotta be careful because there's radiation, there's radioactive what's that? Oh, great. Radiation. Oh my gosh. A hard shot. Okay, he's shooting through the crate. That's the goal. And he did not. He did not do it. Come on. So close. So close. I, I was so close. All right, all right, this hole's intense. There's an alien with a, he's covering the hole. If you hit it in the hole, it's gonna go down to a lower level, which hopefully may give you a hole in one. If you miss though, there's a ridge, the ball's gonna get sucked down there. If you miss, it's going to come right here. If you get it, then it should go right here. Let's see what happens. Wait, 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 my senior. Oh my God! Oh, he oh, has oh, got a whole oh, one! Oh, <laughs> he, is, he got it. I can't believe this kid. All right, 
ready? Here we go. You can make it, Daddy. Yes. There it comes. <laughs> All right, for two. Come on. Uh, oh, for three. Hey, Dad. So one. Miles has two holes in one. All right, this one's crazy. So the ball goes in this hole. It's then going to get sucked up this tractor beam go across this bridge down this canyon now this canyon has multiple exits it could exit right here which is what you want right there that's what you want or it could exit right there that's what you want you don't want that third exit but it's all part of luck of the draw we'll see where they go Oh, I see it. See it? It's going up. No? On this side. It's on this side. I can see it. It's all the way up. It's all the way up there. Ah! It's going to come across the bridge. There it goes. It's coming. <laughs> it's bouncing down the canyon. <laughs> Miles got a hole in five. My chance to catch up. There it is, it's right here. It's rolling up. Okay, it's going across the bridge. Down the canyon. Come on, get out. Oh, no, 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 get out. Oh, it went out. Ching! I'm back, baby. All right, this one's called Love Bugs. It's a bug, alien bug theme. You're gonna hit it up there. You're gonna roll down there. You're gonna have to follow the good camera work, Amanda. Right. Miles got it in three. Bring it back. Oh! Three. Uh, they're shooting real air. Oh my gosh. Okay, this hole is called cups and so saucers. You gotta hit it off this level, down to this level, down to this level, down to that level. All underneath the um, UFOs. And there's little air things, they're blowing air things at you every once in a while. It's like, psh, psh, psh. That guy makes it jumpy. All right, you got this. Got it going. Get it, get it! Uh-oh. Oh! Was that in? What? <laughs> that was lucky. That was so lucky. Okay, this hole is called UF Photo. You gotta come through here, take a photo, go through, and get it in the hole. remote controlled you got to hit the ball in this giant tv screen and then rolls through the tv screen on the other side miles already did it he got two here we go oh okay. it got blown back up the ball's getting blown back up I think. There it went. <laughs> there it is. Alan. Yeah, that TV didn't get very good reception, did All right, it? Here we go. There's a glitch. 
The TV needs to change its channels. No, I think it was done on purpose. I think it actually the fall when it came out, but it might have hit Miles Cook because he was looking in. So I might have I might have lucked out. Well, all right, this one's called abduction. You're going inside to a giant spaceship. It's a part two. Come on in. Once you're in, you just gotta hit in the hole. But in order to leave, once you're all done, you have to hit this button. Let's do it. I gotta get this to tie him up. Oh. Hey. I blame the green. This is this grass isn't cut. It's not regulation. Alright. Alright, so this one's called Entree Vu. And uh, if you notice it's a whole cookie theme. I'll tell you what that means. There's a deep, deep, deep cut on this one. Let's do it. guy. You got two. Two. Alright, so there's an old Twilight Zone episode. These aliens come down to Earth. Twilight Zone is an old TV show. And in the show, uh, the, the aliens are treating the humankind really good, right? They give them lots of food. <laughs> and they find one book and they're able to translate the title. And the title is How to Serve Man. That's the only thing they can figure out how to translate, how to serve man. So everybody thinks that their aliens are there to serve us, to make us our lives easier. At the very end of the episode, you realize it's a cookbook, how to serve man. So this whole is a total homage to that. Check it out. How to serve mankind, people with great taste, joy, the joy of cooking space, and then underneath is it, who's for dinner? And then he, he has a little cooking apron, I love humans, with a spatula. Woo! So now there's a bunch of tentacles, it's got a fork and a knife. There's a fork in the road, I'm gonna go left. <laughs> I don't think this is the time for that type of humor. Roll back, roll back, come on. Now I'm gonna let you listen, I'm getting closer to your speaker, but you can literally hear it eating, it's like slurping and it's like, ugh. Oh. We've taught Miles, it's a thing we call no tears. When you play a game like this, no matter who wins, like if I win, he's happy for me. If he wins, I'm happy for him. There's no tears. There's no like crying if you don't win. We both are kind of competitive, so we always have this like no tears, no tears. All right, we're down only two holes left. And the last one looks amazing, but this is the second to last hole. It's called teed off. You're gonna kind of launch the ball, not too far, up the ramp, and then try to get right in that hole. It's called Swallowed Up, and it's amazing. The, the whole actually spins. Oh, by the way, if you want to come down here and do some fun stuff like this down here in Florida, it's so easy right now. You go ahead and call 1-855-GETAWAY, 1-855-GETAWAY. Tell the Provost Park Pass sent you, and you'll get the best deal. In fact, right now down here in Florida, you can get tickets for $99 a park, and we go to Magic Kingdom. 
from April 2nd to September 26th of 2024. The ticket that's the lowest I've ever seen for uh, Magic Kingdom. $99 a park. What? From September, from April 2nd to uh, September 26th, 2024. For Walt Disney World, yeah, for Walt it Disney includes World. all four parks, yeah. all four of the main parks. Yeah. So Not just Magic Kingdom. Yeah. You guys, this is the best deal you get. Now, I have to show you this hole. Check this out. Amanda is adding up the scores. Let me sit down here and find a nice little place I can talk to you. Hang on. All right, so that was a little confusing. I was rushed because there are people behind me. Here's what's going on. Right now, there's an amazing special if you come down to Florida. If you want, right, we're here at Universal Studios at CityWalk Universal Studios. It's amazing. We'll have a good time here. Um, getaway today will help you get the lowest prices on Universal Studios, Orlando tickets, and hotels as well. Or if you want to go to Walt Disney World like Magic Kingdom, you can get tickets right now for $99, lowest $99 from uh, April 2nd to September 26th. It's a summer special. I've never seen him do something that low. If you want that summer special, call him at 1-855-GETAWAY, 1-855-GETAWAY, and tell them Pro Park I sent you, and you get those tickets when you come down here to Florida to uh, Magic Kingdom. All right, now I'm waiting for Amanda to tally up the scores. I mean, you know, this is, this is super fun, guys. Now, here's the thing. I am talking to you right now. I want you to know that you are amazing. Did you know that? You make the world better. You're unique, you are special, and you make it better. And you might ask yourself, well, how do I make the world better, Chris? I, and maybe you haven't heard that, maybe not enough people told you that in your lifetime, so you might be confused how that's true. The way you make it better is by being here, just being a part of it. Your energy makes the world better. And if any of you get sad or confused or have depression and you don't know what's going on, you're, you're worried and maybe have some dark thoughts that are treading on your mind, Take a deep breath and know that you are amazing and it will get better. It's gonna get better. All right, let's go find out who won. Remember, no tears, no tears. Here we go, guys, no tears. Is a par 42, par 42. Miles got 49. Chris, 50. <laughs> no tears, guys. No, congratulations, Miles, high five, you won. That's a good point. He thought the highest score won. Oh, Miles thought the highest yeah. score won? No, no, no. The lowest score wins. The lowest. Like you want to get low goal. score. You, you the won. Score. You won. <laughs> Super fun. A great way we got here today. And it made it it's just a fun little way before we tomorrow we're going to the parks, right? So we had a little bit of time today. So let's go do this amazing activity. There's another 18 holes. Maybe some other time we'll come down and do the ghoulie side. But I really like the sci-fi side. Loved it. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. You're amazing. Bye-bye. All right, we're going to be at Magic Kingdom tomorrow. We'll show you Magic Kingdom tomorrow, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Next video. Oh, hit that like and subscribe. Could you do that, too? You guys know that. Bye. I went miniature golfing down to Florida. I got a 50 on a par 42. My son got a 49 and beat me by one. But it was fun because there is no tears, even though I really want to win. But then we're going to go back. We'll try the ghoulie side, and maybe I'll win there. Ha-ha. <laughs> Daddy's Revenge.